Hello, gang. Welcome to the first day of virtual learning. We're going to talk today about theoretical probability. So you should follow along and try and take notes as you go through this to make sure that you understand what's going on. So the way this is going to work is I have four sections that I'm going to go through. Uh, each section has a video that I'll try and keep nice and short with some notes. And then you'll have some practice problems, and I've included the answer keys with that. And then after you do the practice problems and you check your answers, then there will be a homework section or a homework worksheet for you to do, which I will grade at the end of the week. So we'll do that for each of the four sections, and that's the plan for the week. So let's get started with the first section, theoretical probability. So first, event. An event is an outcome. And I'm going to write this in there as well as you're following along. An outcome or a set of outcomes so an outcome or a set of outcomes so for example if you roll a die you could get a one that would be an outcome or you could get a four that would be an outcome so for example down here rolling one die what outcomes are possible you could get a one you could get a two you could get a three a four a five a six any of those are possible outcomes for rolling a die when you make a list of all the outcomes, that's called a sample space. So a sample space is called a list of all outcomes. Writing out a sample space is always a good idea because it's really going to help you come up with the probability. So for example, if you toss two coins, what is your list of outcomes? You could get two heads, which I would write as heads heads. You could get heads tails. You could get tails heads. Or you could get tail sales, right? That's the list of possible outcomes for tossing two coins. What about for three coins? So we could do the same thing for three coins. You could get all heads, or maybe you get two heads and a tail, or maybe you get a heads and a tail and a heads that way, or maybe you get a head and two tails, or maybe you get all tails, or maybe you get one heads, or maybe you get a heads in the middle, or maybe you get two heads at the end. So you can make a list. Right? So an outcome is what happens when you roll a die or toss a coin. And the sample space is when you make a list of all the possible outcomes. Which leads us then to probability. Probability is a number which measures the likelihood of an event. How likely is that event to happen? Probability must always be a number between 0 and 1. Right? We can't have a negative probability, and we can't have a probability of greater than 1. A probability of 0 means it's impossible. It's never going to happen. And a probability of 1 means it's definitely going to happen. It's certain to occur. So, for example, the probability that the sun will come up tomorrow is 1, because that is absolutely going to happen. We use sample spaces to help us calculate theoretical probability. Now, theoretical probability, the formula for theoretical probability, is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. And this is why it's a good idea to have uh, the sample space. Because if you have the sample space, you will know the total number of outcomes and you'll know what to be put on the bottom. So using our sample spaces that we had above, we can find these probabilities. If a die is tossed, what's the probability of rolling a 6? So I'll make this a little smaller so we can see it. If we look up here, rolling a die, we can see that there are six possible outcomes. And the probability of getting a 6 would be 1 out of 6. If a die is tossed, what's the probability of rolling an odd number? So again, we look up here, and odd numbers would be 1, 2, 3. So there's 3 of those, so 3 out of 6. Now, generally, when you get a fraction, you do want to reduce it. So we could reduce it to 1 half. However, I would not count off if you didn't reduce it to 1 half. Because 3 6 means the same thing as 1 half, so that's fine too. 
Okay, let's see what happened to my OneNote. Give it a minute to come back. There we go. All right, so then two coins. So now we're going to use this sample space right here. Tossing two coins. If two coins are tossed, what's the probability of getting two heads? That would be heads, heads right there. So that would be one fourth. If two coins are, coins are tossed, what's the probability of getting at least one? At least one means one or more. So it could be this one. That's one. That could be that one. Or it could be that one. Any of those three would have at least one head. So that would be three out of four. Okay, if three coins are tossed, now we're going to use this sample space over here. If three coins are tossed, the probability of getting all tails. Well, if we get all tails, that would be one out of the eight. Give my one note and jobs. So probability of getting a three tails would be one out of eight. If three coins are tossed, what's the probability of getting exactly one heads? That would be, let's see, this guy has one, that guy has one, and that guy has one. So there's three of them. So three out of eight. And if three coins are tossed, what's the probability of getting at least one tail? That means one or more. So one or more could be that one has one, that one has one, that one has one or more. That one has one or more, that one, that one, and that one. So all of those, so seven out of eight. And that's theoretical probability. So what I'd like for you to do next is I'd like for you to go over to the theoretical practice problems. Notice I wrote you some notes in there about cards, and you can use those notes to help you answer the questions. Give those a try. Once you've done those, you can look down at the bottom and see the answers. Make sure you're doing them right. And then once you have all the answers right, you kind of know what you're doing, you can do the theoretical homework, which I will grade. If you have any questions on anything, come to my office hours or send me an email and I will explain it. Good luck.